hey how are you guys welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video we are going to go through the best settings for maximum fps fixed lags stutter and input latency in frag punk season 2 dropped recently i hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro all right step number one is windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your pc and once you're here go down to personalization then colors and right over here you want to have to disable transparency effects this will help you to disable all unnecessary animations on your windows related to transparency and if you keep it on you guys can see that your desktop is visible through the applications and if you turn this off it will go away this won't give you a significant fps boost but a little bit improvements with your windows performance after that go down to gaming head over to game bar and turn this thing off since it is an overlay service keeping it on would not be beneficial in your games then go back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on it will help you to optimize your pc by turning things and applications off in the background allowing your pc to save computation power and improve your performance after that click on the graphic settings over here and in here you have to enable optimizations for windowed games this will help you to reduce input latency by using advanced features and after after that click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling this will help you to utilize your graphic card to render your games right after that click on add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of your game if you are unaware of it right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files right over here copy this file path come back to your settings click on add desktop app paste this file path right in here then open up fragpunk binaries win64 and then select this file that is fragpunk.exe click on the add button if that is already added Added, you have to scroll down find it and then for the gpu preference select high performance then click on the add desktop app once again then add frag neck client click on the add button over here as well go a bit down and then you have to set it to high performance over here as well and once that is done simply close your settings well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is the compatibility settings and for that you have to come back to the file location where you guys were initially. Head over to Fragpunk, Binaries, Win64, then scroll a bit down until you find the Fragnia client. Right click on it, head over to its properties, then head over to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. Enable this option, OK and apply it. Right after that, fragpunk.exe, right click on that, properties, compatibility, do the same thing over here as well. And once that is done, click on apply and then you guys can close this folder. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications on your PC and for that, search for group policy editor and you will find something called edit group policy. This step will only be available for Windows Pro users. So once you're over here, double click on computer configuration, then locate administrative templates, then windows components and right over here you'll find app privacy double click on that and look for let windows apps run in the background this policy will be helping you to disable all unwanted applications running in the background and to apply it simply double click on that and click on enable to ensure that this policy is enforced and default for all applications should be set to force deny to ensure that all of these applications would be denied and help you to save your computation resources right after that close this local group policy editor next step is disabling a very unwanted service on your PC and for that simply search for services over here and open this thing up. Once you're here click on any service and then press S on your keyboard and then you have to find sys main right over here. Click on it and then head over to its properties and then startup type should be set to disabled. 
this will disable this very useless service which is running in the background which does not perform any useful task but utilizes about 20% of your CPU and RAM resources in the background. Disabling that will help you to free up your system resources and help you to improve your performance right away. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and over here look for your local disk C, click on create and name it fragpunk just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Right after that, you have to download the Fragpunk Season 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can download it from there or you guys can join my Discord server. In here, you'll find in six very simple folders. Let us start with the first one that is CPU Priority. Double click to open it up and you'll find an AMD CPU Priority as well as Intel CPU Priority. What you guys can do is simply double click to apply any of this priority which is lined up with your CPU. I have an Intel CPU so I need to apply the Intel CPU priority. I have already done that. After that, go back to the second folder which is RAM optimization where I have left a ton of presets according to your RAM. I use 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry for my PC. It could be different for you. And once again, if you guys want to reset all of these settings back to normal, head over to reset to default right away. Third folder over here is Fragpunk priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. And to apply this, you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to apply right away. Fourth one is disable unwanted services wherein I have left all of these unwanted trash services running in the background which are consuming your system's resources. To disable them you can simply double click and apply every single one of them except if you are using any bluetooth services or printer services. Other than that you guys can disable every single one of them and just in case if you want to revert all of them back again head over to this folder and revert them back. Fifth one is input delay improvement where I have left keyboard latency fix as well as mouse latency fix. For keyboard latency fix, you need to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which keyboard buffer you need to choose. And for the mouse latency, you need to use this fix mouse curve which will help you to set up the correct X and Y curve hex files on your registry editor. And this will all be done automatically as soon as you double click and apply it. It will make your mouse movements more smoother and precise and help you to eliminate input latency. After that, the last one is the programs folder in which I have left these three simple programs. Let us start with the first one that is Bearfox PC Optimizer.bat. Right click on it as administrator. Once you're over here, you have to press enter and this will help you to create your backup registry. Keep on pressing enter and this will start applying all of these best settings on your PC which will help you to improve your performance drastically. Once all of that is done, press enter to close it and then you have to open up your control panel and search for power options over here. Then you have to come down and select ultimate performance option which should be added in the power plan list. Once that is done, simply close it. Next is clean temporary files .bat right click on it as administrator and once you're over here you have to press enter on your keyboard and it will start deleting all temporary files off of your pc this is a really simple yet efficient step and i would recommend you guys to save it somewhere and run it every single time whenever you open up your game press enter to close it once it's done next one is process lasso and this is a very important tool right over here to run it you have to right click on it as administrator this is a setup file and you have to install it on your pc then open up process lasso right over here once it opens up you guys can see a very simple interface like this this and what you guys have to do is find your game which should be running in the background if not already you can open up your game and let's for an example say this is my game file which should be shown right over here what you guys have to do is right click on that head over to the cp priority and then for current set it to high then click on yes like this you guys can set up the priority that you need to allocate to your system's resources and your games this will help you to optimize your game performance once that is done simply close the fps pack next step is fixing all of the network issues issues, FPS drops, packet loss and ping issues using no ping which you guys can find a link right in the description below. You guys can download a free trial from here. Once you install and open it up, you guys can find over 1000 games to choose from right over here. Simply search for Fragpunk in this list, click on it and then you'll find automatic servers and manual servers. You guys can leave it automatic and it will choose the nearest server to you which is offering you the lowest ping. Once you guys can see that it is selected that for me, click on optimize this game and it will start one click optimizing this game right on your PC. This helps you to connect your internet straight from your PC to the game servers which helps you to eliminate packet loss, ping issues and other network issues. The best part about no ping is the boost FPS section over here wherein you guys can enable these registries to improve your FPS. Some of these registries can include Hone Optimizer.
optimization, disabling your Chrome telemetry, disable Cortana, Edge telemetry, disable dynamic ticks, disable Firefox telemetry, disable game bar and hibernation over here. You guys can also scroll down and disable mitigations and disable power saving features to improve your input latency. You can also enable high performance mode over here and that should be it for now. It will help you to boost your FPS drastically. I personally use Noping for myself and I have seen drastic improvements and I have left a link to Noping for you guys to check it out for yourself and let's move ahead. Next step is disabling unwanted animations on your PC and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows, press enter and then click on custom. Over here you have to enable save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will help you to disable all unnecessary animations on your PC which will help you to make your windows appear more smoother and this won't help you to fix FPS lags and drops but it will help you to make your windows appear more smoother and work more efficiently. After that click on the advanced tab and for the virtual memory click on the change button. For the custom size you have to set the initial size to 1361 and for the maximum size you have to open up your calculator. I have 32 GB RAM installed on my PC. It could be different for you so you have to enter your installed RAM and divide it by 2. Then you have to multiply this value with 1024 to get your memory in megabytes. Simply remove the commas and paste this value in the maximum size and click on set. Once that is done you guys have to click on ok, close everything right over here and then click on ok. This is how you optimally set your virtual memory and this will be used when your RAM is completely utilized and your system is still drawing more RAM. It will use your hard disk or your SSD as a virtual RAM. Once all of that is done, you guys can now drop into the game for the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Right over here, go down to video settings and then for the visual simplification, you guys can turn this thing on. This will help you to simplify all of the unnecessary animations which might add up to graphics utilization. After that, you'll find graphics quality setting in which I have set the quality presets to custom. Upscaling and anti-aliasing, I have gone with NVIDIA DLSS and the DLSS preset set to quality. For the model preset, I've gone with prioritize speed and frame generation is turned off. Low latency mode can be set to reflex and if you guys are getting this option in your AMD graphics card, you guys can go and set that. For the DLSS for reflex, go with on. Uh, mesh quality, I have gone with high. Shadow quality, you guys can go with medium post processing go with low texture quality you guys can go with high effects quality you guys can go with medium screen space reflections go with off weapon depth of field off weapon dynamic blur off ray tracing off ssgi off ui resolution i have gone with high but you guys can also reduce this but it does not have a very big impact on your fps animation physical i have gone with on once that is done press a to apply this tool and restart your game once and now you guys can enjoy maximum fps in the game so guys that was it for this video i hope I could have helped you out if I could have make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers I trust you all and we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Bear Fox and peace out